Hello everybody, welcome again to our video. The video today is for those that are very addicted in process statistical control. Because the video today is to talk about this function called Control Chart Builder. If you are watching our videos in a sequence, you know that we covered the IMR control chart, the X-bar control chart, the P and P C U control charts, the Levy Jennings control chart, the IMR means control chart, and the three-way control chart. But today we will see how to run every single chart that we have already covered here, but in one platform the platform called, uh, called Control Chart Builder. To run this, I have two data tables, one for attribute data, this one here, when we were talking about defects that we had in some uh, trials inspected, for example, and another table that is all about uh, some critical to quality uh, dimension that we characteristic that we measured in some different parts. Okay, so I will start with this this data table that came from a component of a ratio study. So we will go there in analyze quality and process control chart builder so here look what we have here we have a space for all the the columns that we have in our table and we have a square a blank square here when is written drag and drop variables into graph zones right click to enable warnings change the limits and statistics plotted so we will just select our Y, our response variable, and drag here. The moment that we just drag here, we already have the IMR control chart. Nice. The first control chart is here. Here, on my left, I have some, some customization that I can run in this chart. For example, I can change the points uh, of this chart and this chart and this chart as well. Look that I have two different charts here. So I have the number one and the number two. So the points and the limits can be changed. So that's why I didn't uh, show you before uh, this video like being the first one because you have to to be in another level to, to use this chart. When we are comparing, for example, yellow belt, green belt, black belt, master black belt, to run, to use this control chart builder, uh, either a black belt or a master black belt you should be, or you are uh, that people that is using statistical process control every day in your day-to-day -day, uh, job so you you can use this because you know uh, if you change some something here you change everything and you will know the differences so let's come back here i have the individual and moving range chart I could just change these, uh, these limits here for Levy Jennings. So now I have a Levy Jennings and the moving range chart. So I can customize this and I can have different control charts. So we just cover the IMR and the Levy Jennings in seconds. Okay, what? we have here that is very nice the zones so the c b and a zones uh, divided by the sigma the standard deviation here the, the sigma that we are calculating 
to, to have those limits so we can shade the zones. So green is good, yellow is uh, good, but not so good. And red is the zone that we would have uh, special causes, for example. Okay. Another very interesting thing that we have in this type of chart is the warnings. So the control chart builder uh, has 14 uh, warnings, 8 tests and 6 rules. So if you are running, uh, for example, number 4 is showed here. So what is the number test number 4? 14 points, points in a row alternating up and down. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 points alternating uh, in up and down, up and down, up and down. So you have a warning here. Maybe in your company this would be a warning that is leading to a not, uh, not uh, a statistical process. Uh, uncontrolled process let's say so you can run every single one here and e oh, look this one one two s what is this one point beyond two sigma so if we put the zones here we can see that we have one point beyond the two sigma zones so this is a warning this is a rule that was violated and you should you could be an not uh, a, an unstable process this is what i wanted to say before unstable process so this is imr chart so let's say that you want to to run the x bar chart to run the x bar chart you need to have the subgroup size we don't have a, a place here to put the the subgroup size so we have to have this subgroup uh, column the moment that i drag here i have the x bar and r chart because now jump is understanding that we have this subgroup column here and the subgroup column is size 3 and she's uh, jump is running the average and the range of each three parts okay guys if I want to change for the standard deviation I can have the limits uh, change for the standard deviation and I will have the X bar and S chart okay and if I want the X bar, the moving range on means and the, the average, for example, I can just select here the three-way control chart. And now I have the average, the moving range on means and the standard deviation uh, within. So uh, I can change every single detail here. Let's, let's change again for range. Now we have the range, the moving range on means, and the average of our subgroups. So we can run every single chart that we know here inside of this control chart builder. The moment that I'm done, I, I will click in done. And now you can copy, you can copy picture and paste in your reports. If I want to come back to the control chart builder panel, I just click here in the red button, show control panel. So now I am there. Let's start over. So let's start over. I just select Y, new Y chart. I can put machine on face and have uh, individual and moving range chart faced by machine so again if I change that things here if I put subgroup here 
I have now an X bar and an R chart for Y faced by machine. This is for the shield hard variables, the continuous data. Okay, so let's run. Let's run a chart for the attribute data. Okay, so analyze qualian process control chart builder. Now I have here uh, some different uh, objective. My goal is to analyze attribute data. So I will change here for attribute data. So now the control chart builder adds the end trials here because it needs to understand how many parts you are inspecting to, to find the, the problems, the defects that we have. So I could just put here, for example, the end trial here is uh, the, the, the subgroup size is 40. I could put 40 here, but if you put 40 here and you have a situation that your subgroup size is not constant, you should select this column here and drag and drop here in this end trial uh, option because here you can have your subgroup size unconstant and here is the information and trials is the column car inspected so the moment that i put defect one here i have the p chart oh mateus i don't have i i don't want the p chart i want the n p chart so we just change from proportion to count and now i have the n p chart all the statistical details are here you can run uh, in phases as well and if i want to to run one chart for each day I select day here and I click in buy here. So now I have one chart for day one, another chart for day two, another NP chart for day three, day four and day five. Okay, so let's start over to don't get lost here. So again, shield heart variables I change for shield heart, shield heart attribute, cars inspected here and I can just change here from proportion to count and have the P and NP chart. Very good. So I could uh, do this new Y chart for defect 2, for defect 2, 2, 3 as well. When I want to run a C chart uh, or a U chart, look, I should use the total defects as you saw, as you watched in the C video, C control chart video and the U control chart video. So the moment that I select the total, the total defects, jump is running the P chart, by, but I don't want the P chart, I want the C or U chart. So the limits that are being calculated, they change from binomial to Poisson. So if I'm talking about uh, total defects per units that were inspected, I should use the Poisson distribution here to calculate the limits. So the Poisson is, give to us, is giving to us the C or U chart. If I if I'm talking about the proportion, I will have the U chart. And if I, I'm talking about the count, I will have the C chart. So it's very simple. Uh, it's just one click and we change from NP to C and the C to U. So it's very easy, it's very simple, but you have to know what you are doing. Okay, guys? This is very dangerous if you are analyzing your process. We can select here the zones and shape zones as well. We have some warnings here, the, the, the same warnings that we had to the IMR chart. So if you want to, 
to run these warnings uh, you can run as well if we're done you just click in done and you can copy and paste here uh, in your uh, reports okay guys so if you were anxious to to this video now we have i really like the control chart builder but it's not for everyone okay i hope you enjoyed this video and see you on the next one bye bye